So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Drikna chart. Drikna chart part two. So, we're going to be discussing this complicated process of Drikna chart. Okay. So, last time we discussed about if you're an Aries ascendant in the birth chart from 0 to 10 degrees, you're going to be an Aries ascendant in the D3 chart. Okay. And as you know, D3 chart is a chart related to your siblings, related to your strength, related to your fruits of the labor that you're putting in in this life, which is your Kriyaman Karma, Agami Karma. What has been given to you automatically is seen through the Navamsha. That's the fruits of your planets, the Karma. But this is the fruits of the Karma you're performing in this life. So it's a very important chart. Okay, but... It, it is a it's simple, but if you just understand the dynamics, you'll understand how a D3 chart works. So if let's say you are a Aries ascendant in D3 chart between 10 to 20 degrees, what's going to happen is you're going to become a Leo ascendant in the Drikna chart, which is going to be controlled by Rishi Agastya. Before it was Narat Muni. Now become Agastya. So then what happens is if the Leo sign is rising. First of all, they said these are the type of people you don't want to mess with. Okay. These are the type of people that become extremely determined, extremely willful. You know, it's like you cannot poke them and think that nothing's going to happen. No, because... You poke them, they stab you. That's how fierce they are. That's how strong they are. They're here to conquer things. They're here to uh, kind of like rule over things. Because naturally, it's now Aries, ascendant of your birth chart, is now turning into Leo in the Drikna chart. And you will see when you have Leo rising in the Drikna, such an individual, they can be a middle child, eldest child, youngest child. They will treat their sibling like their children. They will treat their siblings like their children. Because what is rising in Drikna chart? Because of the fact you have Aries ascendant in the birth chart. It's Leo. In the fifth house is rising. So you're going to look at everything when it comes to Drikna as your fifth house energy. As your Leo energy. So you become very creative in terms of perf uh, performing or doing certain karma so you can get fruits from them. You also become very determined and angry when things don't go your way. Because remember, who gets angry? If if you're in a kingdom, who gets angry when something doesn't go right? It's the king, Leo. So you will get really strongly frustrated when things don't go your way. And because Leo is there, it shows that one will always try to kind of put their siblings on a regal pedestal. They will sacrifice things for their sibling. Because their siblings become their children. Every parent will sacrifice everything for their children. But also, with this Augusta Rishi degrees, shows if sibling goes after them, well, they, they, they will also can have the ability to annihilate their siblings. Okay, because this person is going to be in this mode of regalness. Like, for example, if you watch, I haven't watched it, but if you watch Game of Thrones, everybody for themselves, everybody's out there trying to get that pedestal, that, that, that throne. So they're out there to get their throne, you know. Um, and also, you know, with Leo, there's a childlike quality. So 
with them internally, their nature becomes quite childlike. You know, it's it's hard to describe, but if you have ever seen some of the best villains in a movie, they have this charm about them that you want to know them. You want to be with their be their friends. You know, like for example, like Joker. If you talk to Joker and he says something intelligent, they'll they'll, they'll reply back to you. They'll talk to you. He will have fun with you, but at the same time, very fierce, very regal, very much in your face. And they demand respect. The work that they're doing, right? The karma they're performing, they want that respect in return. So that's what occurs with this Agastya Rishi of Drikna. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. And if you want to know what your Drikna ascendant is, what your birth chart degree is, for that, check out the links here, karisastrology.com. So you don't have to worry about even calculating these things. Just look at your uh, D3 chart and you'll know what ascendant you want. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.